Roadhouse director Doug Lyman sets the record straight about his feelings regarding streaming services, particularly with his latest film, The Instigators, being newly released on Apple TV+. Roadhouse is a remake of the 1989 film of the same name that stars Patrick Swayze. The 2024 version stars Jake Gyllenhaal as an ex-UFC fighter who takes a job as a bouncer at a Florida Keys roadhouse. The Prime video release was steeped in controversy following a contentious op-ed Lyman wrote stating that Amazon doesn't care about cinema. Lyman was displeased with Roadhouse going directly to streaming, which is exactly what his newest film is doing. The Instigators, which stars Matt Damon and Casey Affleck, only earned a limited theatrical release before debuting on Apple TV Plus in August. In a recent interview with Empire magazine, Lyman clarified his feelings towards Roadhouse's release in light of his newest film's streaming debut. It mostly came down to the expectations the filmmaker had for Roadhouse. He said. What really happened with Roadhouse's release? Lyman reportedly chose the streaming release when faced with a bigger budget. Following Lyman's deadline op-ed, a report was released that revealed the truth behind the Roadhouse streaming deal. Within the report, the biggest takeaway was that Lyman and Gyllenhaal were offered a $60 million budget with a theatrical release or an $85 million budget with a streaming release. According to the report, the director and star chose the second option. Originally, Roadhouse was presented to MGM, but when Amazon bought MGM, things changed. A streaming release wasn't discussed when Lyman initially thought the film would belong to a movie studio. In his op-ed, he wrote that Amazon told him the release of Roadhouse would depend on the final product he delivered. He said his film tested extremely well with audiences, which made him feel like it should get a theatrical release. Despite that, it was released exclusively to Prime Video. Luckily, though, it became a success. Lyman's differing responses to Roadhouse and the instigator's individual releases make sense when considering the circumstances under which both movies were made. Though Lyman reportedly opted to take the larger budget for Roadhouse despite the streaming caveat, it wasn't what he initially thought he was getting into. Thankfully, though, he holds no ill will towards the overall production, which bodes well for the in-development sequel. Lyman is not yet confirmed to return, but as the original director, he is likely a strong contender.